Back in 1961, I was dumb enough to think The Hustler was a Jackie Gleason movie. Then came this upstart pool shark with the cobalt blue eyes, and yes, I know The Hustler was in black and white, but somehow the blue still showed through. And when he got into the Great One's face and bragged, I'm, I'm the best you ever seen, Fats. I'm the best there is. Well, there was no arguing the point. By the time he turned 50 in 1975, Paul Newman had reached icon status. And he could have coasted, but he didn't. He, instead, he rewrote his career with one breakaway role after another. In Slapshot, he traded his Mr. Cool persona to play a grizzled, cussing hockey player. For Newman's big scene in The Verdict, director Sidney Lumet keeps him in the distance, a solitary figure in a cavernous courtroom. Somehow, Newman remains riveting, commanding our full attention with his understated passion. You know, so much of the time we're just lost. We say, please, God, tell us what is right, tell us what is true. I mean, there is no justice. The, the rich win, the poor are powerless. We become tired of hearing people lie. And after a time, we become dead. And then there's this triumphant return to the role of the hustler's fast Eddie in The Color of Money, who can forget the indelible moment when Eddie recognizes in Forrest Whitaker, as an up-and-coming pool hustler, a ghost of his younger self. That is luck, man. Uh, I'm really sorry. There's nothing I can do. It's nine ball fell. I can't believe that. <laughs> you a hustler, Amos? Come on, Eddie, man. Look. You a hustler? Hey, you don't want to pay me? Keep it. Forget it. I don't want no bad feelings. When a guy loses, I lost, I paid. I don't know. You a hustler, Amos. In that moment, Newman closes a circle not only for his character's life, but for his career as well. It was his sole Oscar-winning role. As he grew older, Newman seemed less and less satisfied with the fake lives of movie land. He found escape in a second career as a race car driver. He fed his passion for charity through profits from Newman's own food products. In fact, a new generation probably knows Newman more for his face on these McDonald's salad dressing packets than for his turn in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. But for those of us who grew up with Paul Newman, he was more than a brand, more than a voice, more than a set of blazing peepers. He was proof that you can keep chasing that checkered flag even after you've entered the winner's circle. I'm Bill Newcott.